Chromers. Um, today we are at uh, Clent Hills uh, Camping and Caravanning Club site. Um, first of all I'll just show you the approach road which is quite narrow. Uh, so this is the approach road to the campsite which runs for about probably a quarter of a mile and then you come into the campsite so uh, we'll go and have a look round and see what it's all about. It's, uh, as I say, it's Clent Hills Camping and Caravanning Club site and it's in the West Midlands. Um, there is a reception with a small uh, shop selling very basic items. And also uh, this is an information room in here where um, they've got uh, a telephone first off and bits of information about the tourist information, the usual sort of thing. Um, book somewhere you can get there's good food and things uh, members recommendations of good food all that sort of thing so that's the information room now as you would imagine from the name at Clent Hills um, this area is quite hilly consequently this site is sloping in, in parts and um, on some pictures you will need chocks to make yourself level but having said that there are some motorhome pitches which are gravel hard standing and um, they're quite level and there are also some grass pitches um, which are quite level as well so it's not all sloping but some pitches are sloping uh, which I think they, they tend to put mainly caravans in those pitches because obviously caravans can level themselves. There's a large toilet block on site uh, which includes men's and ladies toilets with showers, they're all free. There's a washing up room um, in there as well for, for dishwashing and also a laundrette and a chemical disposal uh, for your chemical disposal. Uh, showers are, are really nice and the toilets are kept really clean uh, showers are hot and uh, they're free as well, included in the price. As you can see, the majority of the pitches are grass pitches. Um, there are a few hard standings, but the majority are grass pitches. Uh, but some of those pitches are sloping. They accept tents, caravans and uh, motorhomes. Dotted around the campsite are a uh, waste uh, rubbish area and uh, somewhere where you can dump, uh, caravanners can dump their uh, waste water and also taps around the area. So they're all dotted all over. There's a small um, area for children. It is very small though. There's a bit of a climbing frame, a slide and a couple of swings. But that's all really to keep the children occupied. Uh, but there's plenty of space to run about. Um, part of the site is sort of separated by hedges, which makes it quite nice. There's some nice sort of private type pitches around. As you can see, there's hedges over there. Um, most of the pitches are hard, are um, have electric hookup. It's a short walk into the village of uh, Romsley and in, in the village there's a couple of pubs but one in particular that we went to last night which is called the Sun it's either the Sun or the Sun Inn uh, which do, I can highly recommend it's quite a large pub and they do some lovely meals and uh, they're all sort of two for one uh, I think we paid, uh, I had a lovely ribeye steak and uh, can't remember what Pauline had, but anyway, we paid um, about £30 for the uh, two meals and all the drinks, so we thought that was quite good. So go and have a visit to there, that's well worth a visit to the Sun Inn at uh, Romsley. Uh, it's just a, it's a short walk into Romsley from the campsite, but you do have to walk down the road. But there's ample parking if you'd rather drive. 
Uh, there's lots of walks from the campsite as well. Uh, as I say, it's in the Clent Hills area. If you get onto Clent Hills, it's really nice. Here. Some, some superb views over the uh, countryside from the top there, and some lovely walks as well. So this is it. It's Clent Hills, and it's camping and caravanning club site, and it's in the West Midlands.